in the Middle Ages, the world was in search of some sort of order. Uh, not that long ago. I said the Middle Ages. Middle. Or there. Things were different then. It was an uncivilized time. Because of this, it was also known as the Dark Ages. Not that dark. It was during this time that the Vikings were some of the most powerful men on Earth. They were uncultured. They were illiterate. They didn't wash. They were barbarians. And apparently, they were pretty proud of all this. The Vikings made their living by sailing off to foreign lands and taking home souvenirs they didn't pay for. This could be an easy job. Please don't bother to get up. Or it could be a difficult one. It all depended on who you were taking the souvenirs from. Thank the gods, it's Friday. The most famous Viking of all was Leif Erikson. Huh? Okay, okay, Hagar the Horrible. And this is the story of Hagar as he returns home to his wife Helga and his two children, Honey and Hammer. direction we're going? Land ho! Oh, careful, you guys, huh? I almost fell out of here. <laughs> You're home late from work again? Hagar, you would do back three months ago. I knew you'd be at the door to greet me. Honey! Hamlet! Dad! <laughs> These are for you. Wow! Squeeze this. Oh. oh! So, kids, do you have anything or anyone to show me? Huh? What? Kids? Set an extra place for your father. Now, what are you doing, Hamlet? Poetry homework. The Viking Academy has him doing homework? What's happened to that school? Hagar, cut your meat before you eat it. So, honey, do you have any news? Well, I'm engaged. My 16-year-old daughter engaged? At long last. I hoped you'd be happy about it. Happy? How's this? <laughs> oh, and honey. Yeah. Oh, and honey. Dad, there's something you should know. Oh, is it ready? Mom, can you help me get dressed? <laughs> Congratulations, Olaf! Who are you? Hello, sir. My name's Loot. I'm here to see Honey. Uh, sorry. She's getting ready for a date. Yes? Excuse me, sir, but I am Honey's date. 
sure. And I'm a leprechaun. Look, buddy, honey's engaged. And even if she wasn't, she wouldn't give some guy like you. Loot? Honey. I see you've met my father. Several times already. Dad, this is Loot. Nice to meet you. Loot's a singer, a musician, a really wonderful person. And he's marrying Good. me. Well, we better be going. I'm glad you two finally met. Bye. Helga, what's going on here? I come home after a short two-year business trip, and what do I find? My son's reading books. And my daughter's engaged to a guy from the wrong side of the fjord. Instead of Olaf, the man of my dreams. How could you let this happen? Are you trying to ruin the lack of civilization as we know it? Poetry homework. No way was I going to wait for the next parents' night to deal with this. Recess! Well, I've never had a very high opinion of the Viking Academy myself. They threw me out after my first day, and I've gone on to become a pretty famous Viking. I'll bet they're sorry they ever threw me out of here. Hello, Hagar. Hey, aren't you lucky, Eddie? That's right. It's okay, he's with me. Come on, Lucky Eddie. Oh, well, they can just forget about me speaking at graduation. Hagar, welcome back. Lucky Eddie. He's with me. It's good to see you again, Hagar. You've done the school proud. We certainly were right when we named you most likely to ravage foreign lands. Well, I... What brings you here today? We came on foot. Seems we were right about him, too. Sir, last night I got back from ravaging a few foreign lands. And I found my son Hamlet doing poetry homework. I ask you, is that the kind of thing you're teaching aspiring young Vikings nowadays? Of course not. We have a reputation to uphold here. That must be from some other school he's going to. You see, Hamlet flunked out of the Viking Academy. Uh, sorry. Uh, here is his report card. Uh, what's it say? I don't know either, but people who read tell me it's bad. Viking again. I was on my way out. I can't believe it. A son of mine flunking out of Viking Academy. At least I'm in a good angry mood to give Olaf a piece of my mind for dumping honey. Hagar, Lucky Eddie, hi, come on in. I was just fixing dinner. Why, Olaf, why? Why did you break my little girl's heart? And mine, too. But, Hagar, I didn't drop honey. She dropped me. She was... She said she wanted somebody with brains and good looks. <laughs> Women, you figure them out. I can't believe she'd let you go. What else did she say? She said I was greasy and that I have bad manners. Yeah, so? Well, that's just it. She said it like it was a negative thing. Uh. What's happened to my family? Oh, Hamlet flunked out of Viking Academy, and Honey dumped her fiancé for a musician. Boy, where have you been all day? Helga's really made a mess of things. It's up to me to straighten everything out as usual. Helga! <laughs> <laughs> Will you stop cleaning and listen to me? I thought the problem was the Viking Academy and Olaf, but they're as good as ever. The problem is the kids and how you've been bringing them up. Look, if you think you can do better, oh, great wise one, be my guest. All right, watch this. Honey, 
Hamlet! Yeah, Dad? What you want? Look, you kids mean the world to me, but your mother's been letting you get away with murder. Well, it's not gonna be that way now that I'm home. Honey, I forbid you to marry any man who can't meet Viking standards. So forget your engagement to that weird guy, Loot. Huh? Hamlet, I forbid you to read any more books until you improve your Viking skills and the Viking Academy agrees to take you back. What? We'll start working at it first thing tomorrow. Well, that's all. Gee! So, what do you think? I wouldn't get my hopes up for Father's Day. So you think it's wrong of me not to be glad Dad's home after he's ruined our lives? You mean wrong of us. I can't help it. I love books. And I love loot. And I love Dad, too. Boy, I bet if we didn't love anything, we wouldn't be having these problems. Maybe there's a way to make everybody happy. Gee, that sounds good. I'll train loot to be what Dad wants. If you can make a Viking out of loot, I guess I can make a Viking out of me. for a few years. Uh. I think Dad's going to be really impressed with you, Loot. I'm home! Put on your helmet. I brought a few guests home. A few? Were you planning to build bleachers? <coughs> Honey, I'd like you to meet your future husband. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be a big wedding. Not all of them. We're gonna choose the best one. Oh, good idea. Here he is. <coughs> Who's he? Uh, he doesn't look like any Viking we know. <laughs> Well, he is too a Viking. Show him. Go on. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, a Viking using a napkin? <laughs> That's not how you pick a Viking husband. Oh, no? Well, how should a husband be chosen? I'll show you. All right. Who wants to date my daughter? <laughs> well, I'm finding Honey a proper husband, and Hamlet shows real promise on the practice fields. In just one day, I think I've been able to undo much of the damage. Sounds like it.
appreciated. Honey, as much as I love you, I don't think this is going to work out. No, don't say that. I'm sorry. I'll never be what your father wants for you. I made up my mind while I was flying out here. I'm going to go where my music and gentlemanly qualities are appreciated. I'm leaving for parts unknown. But you can't go. I love you. I love you too. That's why I have to go. Goodbye, goodbye, we gave it a try, my love and I. Anybody else want to take a shot? Hello? Where's the happy couple? <laughs> you ruined my life. But I thought everything was going so well. I found a real man for you. I don't want a real man. I want loot. <laughs> Honey, are you all right? Hamlet, you should be in bed. We've got early catapult practice tomorrow. <sighs> That's my boy. I got a kid who likes to read. What do you do, Sven? I've got a daughter who wants to marry a guy who combs his hair. How did that happen, Eric? Sometimes I wish I was like you, Lars. No wife, no kids. I've got a wife and five kids. So you're a bad example. Did you have to point that out? I mean, couldn't you just gone along with me on this? I'm tearing my heart out here, and you're getting picky about whether you've got a family or not. Where did I go wrong? It's not you, Hagar. You set a good example. I mean, we don't call you the horrible for nothing. Face it, you just got weird kids. Weird? Yeah. Hey, maybe that's what you should call them. Honey the Weird and Hamlet the Weird. <laughs> 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 Looks like drinks are on Hagar. Oh, yeah. oh, hey, hey, hey. Don't call my kids weird. But you said. That's right, Hagar. You said. That's different. They're mine. I can call them what I want. So my son reads books. Just because we don't know how doesn't mean it's not worthwhile. And Honey's found someone she loves and who loves her. She's lucky. A lot of people never find that. My kids aren't weird. They're just different. And don't you forget it. Oh, hi. Hi. I was just shooting the breeze with the guys here. That was really nice what you just said, Hagar. And I think it would be nice if you said the same thing to the kids. Uh-uh. No way. You can't hold me to that. Oh, no? Hellcar! Men, we need a Viking helmet that covers the ears! Somebody get right on it! Loot? Uh, honey doesn't want you to go, so I guess I don't either. You mean it, sir? Do you really want your daughter to marry someone who's dumb enough to ask me that? Not to mention dumb enough to think a boat would pick him up because he's thumbing. Hey, buddy, want a lift? Uh, no, thanks. I'm so happy. I've just got to sing. Hi, oh, hi, my love, and oh. Hey, Gar. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> Honey, come on.
come out here. I've got something for you. Loot! I'd rather not take any credit for this. Is it time for practice? Uh, no. What's this doing under here? It was cold. Sorry, Dad. Sorry I'm not a very good Viking. Well, you tried anyway. You're just better at other things. But I'm not good at things that could make you proud of me. Well, maybe, possibly, there's an off chance I could be proud of you for the things you do best. Does that mean I can read books and do homework again? Wow! <laughs> What's this one about? Lots of different things. It's called Aesop's Fables. Want to hear one? Well, maybe one. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a tortoise and a hare. The hare was always bragging about how fast he was and sneering at the tortoise because he was so slow. One day, the tortoise challenged the hare to a race. Did you talk to Hamlet? Uh-huh. You feel better, right? Well, we've really done it. Done what? Opened the floodgates, that's what. Pretty soon, there won't be any standards at all. Girls will be trying to marry guys with brains instead of brawn. Kids all over the world will be reading books and doing homework. Can you imagine what kind of society we'll have then? It all started here, and it's on our heads, Helga. Are you asleep yet? No. And after that speech of yours, I'm as surprised as you are. Good. Could you finish reading this story to me? I can't wait to hear how it comes out. Mwah. The tortoise crawled along so slowly that before long, the hare was far, far ahead of him. He'll never catch me, thought the hare. I think I'll take a little nap. The age of the Vikings is said to have ended with the conquest of England in 1066. <laughs> Don't you believe it?